While I was doing the review for the Acer Predator X28 monitor, I needed to learn more about NVIDIA Reflex before I can properly review this monitor. That led me down into a very deep rabbit hole, so I decided to do another video where we go through what is NVIDIA Reflex, what it does, how we can use it, and how it impacts our gameplay. So let's begin. Starting with what is NVIDIA Reflex, this is pretty much a new tool to bring a game's responsiveness to your inputs much faster. The easiest way to explain this is that when you click on a game like Overwatch like this, the time taken for the click of the mouse and for the action to show up on the screen, that entire journey that your PC needs to take is what we call responsiveness. This is independent of your PC's FPS because having 300 FPS doesn't necessarily mean the game is responding instantly to your inputs. So secondly, what does NVIDIA Reflex do? That does two things actually. The first one is obvious, it can shorten the time taken for your input signal from the mouse to show up on the screen. And of course, there are a lot of prerequisites involved which we will talk about it later. Secondly is the ability to measure the latency. You see, the NVIDIA Reflex at hand, the entire process can be monitored to determine the exact time a mouse is clicked and the exact time that input is shown on the screen. To understand here, we will have to talk more about the NVIDIA Latency Display Analysis tool, which is this thing that we have here, or LDAT for short. This NVIDIA LDAT is pretty much the predecessor to NVIDIA's Reflex because how it works is illustrated here. Once you click the mouse, the signal travels in two different paths. One to your PC to be processed and eventually show up on the screen. And the second path is to the NVIDIA LDAT and this second signal tells the NVIDIA LDAT to start the timer and subsequently end the timer when the flash of light shows up on the screen. This is how input latency is measured using the NVIDIA LDAT. As for the successor, the NVIDIA Reflex does something similar but instead of having a separate tool like this NVIDIA LDAT box here, it reads through NVIDIA's software and hardware integration. And that leads us to the next point. How can we use the NVIDIA Reflex? We need a total of 5 things that are compatible with NVIDIA Reflex for it to work actually. So NVIDIA does have a list of certified games and mouse and monitors so I'll link it down in the description below for you to check it out. Actually NVIDIA Reflex is only compatible with GeForce 900 series or newer GPUs but I assume you already have that and for our system here we are using a modest GTX 1070. So the first thing that you need for NVIDIA Reflex to work is the monitor. The one that we are using here is the Acer Predator X28 because this monitor is one of the few ones that actually is certified for NVIDIA Reflex. One of the USB ports on this monitor is highlighted in red indicating that it is where the mouse is supposed to be plugged in. Secondly, we also need a mouse that is certified for NVIDIA Reflex to plug into that red colored port. The one that we are using here is the ROG Chakram Core because this mouse is also certified for NVIDIA Reflex but we have to do some firmware update before that, which I have already done, so yeah. And thirdly, we have to head into the OSD menu of this monitor to enable NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer. We will also have to set the rectangle to tell where NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer should look for. So this rectangle technically just tells the software that this is where the pixel change will happen. So it will read that pixel change as the indicator that something showed up on the screen. And fourthly, we still need to enable NVIDIA Reflex Overlay on the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Overlay so that we can monitor the stats properly. As you can see here, there are a lot of telemetries available but we'll return to this later. And fifthly is the last step, I promise, is that we'll need a game that actually supports NVIDIA Reflex. For example, God of War is one of those games that supports NVIDIA Reflex. I'm not sure why this game is needing NVIDIA Reflex since it's not competitive in any way. But as of today, I'll be using Overwatch to test it instead. So with the rectangle set in place, we can finally begin the NVIDIA Reflex testing. 
we'll be using Cassidy, formerly known as McCree, because there's a muscle flash on the screen when the gun shoots. So this is perfect for the analyzer tool to detect. So as you can see here, we got the reflex measurement telemetry showed up on the top right corner there. And then if we click around, the number will change. So this is where the NVIDIA LDAT is doing its magic. And here is where I need to quote NVIDIA. They say that each game with NVIDIA Reflex includes an on and boost mode, which players can opt to enable. Boost mode increases the GPU clock speed in CPU bound scenarios, allowing the GPU to submit frames to display faster and thereby improving Reflex's effectiveness. In short, what this means is that the GPU is pretty much always on its toes to render the next frame as soon as it is needed, hence reducing unnecessary latency, which in turn it also increases your GPU's power consumption because it's always, you know, high clock speed all the time. This is useful for games like Fortnite, Valorant, Overwatch, all these kind of games because they can have sudden big explosions that will require sudden increase of GPU clock speeds to keep up with the frames. Okay, so after all of that, we finally got NVIDIA Reflex working. And why this feature is important? Well, it's pretty much because the highest refresh rate monitors can still have bad responsiveness. So the NVIDIA Reflex seeks to remedy that by providing us the tools to measure and cut down input latency. In a way, it kind of breathes fresh air into how esports players can outcompete each other. So yeah, that's pretty much it about NVIDIA Reflex in a nutshell you will need quite a lot of certified reflex tools to get it working but once you get it working it it is pretty wondrous because it's just it just works so yeah this is much better than having to use an LDAT box like this with nvidia's software and also a mouse that i kind of butchered just to solder two wires to the left click so yeah with reflex everything is integrated nicely and you don't have to do all this kind of hacky mod so yeah if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section down below i'll try to help you out so i'll see you there